Young people! Bearded Math Brother back in the house. Chapter one, lesson two. Algebra textbook, you know where we're at. Let's get this one started, man. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun with this. This is nothing but that old school knock it out math. Hey, number one, order of operations, guys. Um, do not say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I, I told you not to. I don't even know who your Aunt Sally is. We're gonna see that later, but guys, easy as pie. Depending on what pie you eat, right? Uh, eight squared, eight times eight, 64. I'm not even boxing answers, I'm just. Number two, I'm sorry. You guys know how we do. We're doing odds here. It's gotta be, you know, if your teacher told you to do the even, um, hit me up, maybe I'll hook you up, but I'm doing the odds. Um, five to the third, uh, five times five times five. So again, it does not matter what order you multiply numbers. So I just do the first two, then do the next one. It kind of prevents me from making a mistake when I do it that way. Cause you know, sometimes mental math will have you slipping. But, um, Five quarters, 125. Number five there, and uh, two operations, and I like how they're doing this. Um, I decided number five, five plus four, grouped times seven, so they're already giving you order of operations through the parentheses first, they put that in the front, so nine plus seven, of course, is 63. I am on roll, number seven. <laughs> so guys, number seven actually has a few more operations to go on here. Um, you can notice right there with four plus six times three, I gotta multiply first. Order of operations tells me to do multiplication first, so I do the six times three, which is 18, and of course add four to that, and I get 22. Number nine, I'm gonna slide it down there, because we got room, slide it down there. And again, order of operations, you're gonna do those Parentheses first, or grouping symbols, you're gonna hear me go back and forth with that. Um, you're gonna see brackets, not sure about braces, that's later on in the handouts, in the videos. Check my channel out. And um, right, right here for number nine, uh, parentheses gave me eight. Uh, eight times five is 40, and oh my God, nobody saw that. Get that out of here. Say get that. Not all of it, just, just, just get, come on, 40 plus one? Who does these things, man? I'm telling you, it's like, that's what we call a mistake. But mistakes are gonna happen, guys, so get that 42 out of here. Thank you. Took forever, though. All right, guys, we're um, gonna use a template. And um, if you had a teacher that used templates, you probably thanked them. Or you're like, get this thing out of here. It all depends on the student. And um, what I'm saying is, as I'm doing number 11, I see a little bit more operations going on. So I see subtraction, I see multiplication, I see addition. And I'm like, what do I do first? And um, parentheses. And then the next step, as we step down, is exponents. And then, and then we step down multiplication and division. Multiplication and division from left to right, or left to right. And then of course, last step is addition and subtraction. So, hey, that's why I like working with good people. So, number 11, and there's my order of operations. And please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, yeah, we might talk about that later, but just understand it's grouping symbols, or parentheses as we call them, which there's none in number 11, so skip that step. There's no exponents in number 11. I skipped that step, but I cannot skip multiplication from left to right. So five times four is 20, so 30 minus 20, plus two. Now, of course, addition and subtraction, so I'm gonna subtract before I add. That's what some students wanna do when they talk about, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. They think the adding comes before subtraction, and it doesn't, it's in order from left to right. So. 30 minus is 20, 10, 10 plus two is 12, and we're on to number 13. And again, what do you see when you have 13? Um, I see, and it's, you know, it's on the handout, so you can see it there too. 
14 divided by 2, 7, which gives me 2. See, sometimes the brain moves faster than the metal. And um, I see the exponent. I see the multiplication division. So again, this is why the steps help. Just kind of keep you in order. There's no parentheses. I do have an exponent. So 14 divided by 7 times 5 minus 3 to the second, which is 9. Next step is any multiplication or division. So right off the jump, 14 divided by seven, like I said earlier, two. And then times five minus nine, leaving a little bit of space, leaving just a little bit of space, a little bit of space. To do the two times five, which is 10, and then 10 minus nine, the last step. And you notice I'm actually doing, I'm trying to do the step. I'm trying to do the operation in the step. So, and then, let's get to some more challenges. Number 15, 15 thank you. is double grouping symbol. So this is what I mentioned earlier, guys, by, um, by saying parentheses, you're eliminating a grouping symbol called brackets, and you're eliminating grouping symbols called braces. And even a division line is considered a grouping symbol, meaning if I have, and I'll stop because we want to take care of 15, but they'll come up later. Um, 5 plus, bracket open, 30 minus 6. 5 plus, bracket open, 30 minus the quantity of 6 minus 1, all squared, bracket closed. I literally challenge my students sometimes just to try to read the problem because, yeah, reading math is like reading any other language you do not know. <laughs> if you don't know what it says, you cannot read it. So we practice reading it, we learn reading it, and we just get better, right? So the parentheses are six minus one inside of there. That's five. And you can really see that I've used the blue to point out I'm doing the parentheses, but also need to do the exponent inside of that parentheses, order of operations. So five squared, 25. So I take care of the parentheses first, but there's still more parentheses or grouping symbols, right? And that's where I'm showing you, I'm taking care of the six minus one. Boom, pow. Yeah, wherever you read that earlier, probably said that, but yeah, right on time. 30 minus 25. And um, we're gonna go ahead and get that 10. You know? So five plus, not 10, I'm sorry, five. And again, guys, this is where the steps are cool, but again, it's only if you need them. If you're good on your order of operations, if you're sitting back with a calculator, especially if it's a fancy like put all that in there. But um, Mr. Kraft does make mistakes, and you've already seen one on this handout. So go ahead and take that back and see if it's good.